Hey, I take four stems and a Diet Coke. I'll talk to my sister for an hour, you know? <laughs> so I fully support that, sir. Tony Robbins and Theo Vaughn was probably one of the best podcasts I think that I've ever watched because it's like Tony Robbins, the most motivational person, like high class businessman with Theo Vaughn. Like Theo Vaughn is like one of us. You know what I mean? Like if you know Theo Vaughn, you get it. I'm listening to this podcast and I hear Tony talking about SSRIs and psilocybin. You guys got to listen to this. September of 2022, cover of Newsweek says, meta studies show the SSRIs don't work, but we keep selling them. The normal treatment is to put you on antidepressants and therapy or one or the other or both, right? So I asked the guys at Stanford, I said, you want to study it? Well, what, what are the meta studies? You know, when you have multiple studies, they give you the averages. And they said, well, the meta studies show that 60% of the people who, who take antidepressants, and now they know SSRIs our eyes don't even work. There was a oh, whole cover of Newsweek. A year ago in Jesus. September, did you, you not know this? Nobody emailed me. I've been taking <laughs> nobody it for emailed 17 you. <laughs> years. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't go, get go look at Septem email? September of 2022, <laughs> cover of Newsweek says, meta studies show the SSRIs don't work, but we keep selling them. Right? Yeah, well, then what am I doing? <laughs> well, watch this. Here's the stat. 60% don't improve at all. 40% of people improve. The average improvement, according to meta-studies, is 50%. So they're half as depressed as they were. Now, some people get well, but it's a very small percentage. So I said, you could almost do that with a placebo. And the guy laughed and said, yeah. I said, well, what's the best study you've ever done? The most effective study in science. They said there was a study done at Johns Hopkins about five and a half year, five and five years ago. It? Pardon me? And who, who what are the- This is from Stanford. That was Johns about. Hopkins. Johns Hopkins Hospital has some of the best researchers and so oh, forth. Oh, good. Right? And so they did this study, and here's what they did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they gave people psilocybin for a month, yeah. magic mushrooms, mm -hmm. and cognitive therapy. I said, well, you ought to get some change out of that. He goes, yeah, oh, it was yeah. the greatest change they've ever seen in the history of psychiatry. Six weeks after treatment, 53%, mm -hmm. excuse me, 54% of the people had no symptoms of depression. Dude, I, have, I take four stems and a Diet Coke. I'll talk to my sister for an hour, <laughs> you know? <laughs> So I fully support that, sir. But unfortunately, but so, you're saying, so you're saying there's there's new methods. There's new methods, but what was amazing was the results were so profound. One hundred percent of the people, no depression whatsoever. Even better, seventeen percent of the people had suicidal ideation, no suicidal ideation. Here's the best part: eleven months later, they followed up. 72% reduction in negative emotions, still no depression, 52% improvement in positive emotions. So when you make a shift in the way you use your brain and it gets conditioned, yeah. and it does get conditioned, so they, they were studying how it works. And yeah, so there's a biochemical key. change that actually happens it's in the perspective, body. Perspective, that's the thing. It's like, yeah, you gotta change like, yeah, instead of just being like, I wanna have this New Year's resolution, another rule for myself, I need to ch change the ruler. That's good. Right? You got it. You it's got like it. I need to, that's what I need to change. But a lot of people, times we don't even see that we're the ruler. Tony Robbins is the GOAT. Everybody listens to Tony Robbins, including myself. And to hear him go on the Theo Vaughn podcast, one of the best podcasts in the world, and openly talk about SSRIs and how they're not really working like the doctors say they should be working, and how psilocybin is a probably a better choice. Like, to, and, 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 and backing it up with this science from John Hopkins saying basically people who take psilocybin, it cures their depression and anxiety. And when they, they, they stop taking the psilocybin, the effects last up to 11 to 12 months. So like this is something that I have been talking about for a very long time now. Um, I am fortunate enough to work with a company called Microsybin. And we have literally helped thousands and thousands of people cure their anxiety, get rid of depression, um, stop their overthinking. And like I have been using these products now for about two years and I've completely changed because of microsybin. And it's amazing that I get to work with a company that gets to help people every single day. So what the doctors are telling you about SSRIs, you know, here and Tony back it up how SSRIs are just not the way. Um, it's a new world and there's new plant medicine out there that could help you in a much positive, better way. So it's wild stuff. It's wild stuff and I'm here for it. Peace out.